Hi uh, guys, uh, let us today try something with Unix shell script. So, in today's lesson, we will just see how to pass command line argument in shell scripting. So, regarding command line argument, I let us uh, just tell you something that whenever you use command, suppose you use cp command, so you are giving the source and the target. So this source and target, these parameters, these are command line arguments. Suppose you type rm and you give the file name. So for here file name is the command line argument. So what happens? Uh, in shell script, whenever suppose I write um, one, something like rm, create something like remove dot sh and give the file name. So, uh, shell takes this file name as command line argument and just uh, give it a name dollar one. Suppose uh, in CP, suppose I say copy.sh, give file source <coughs> and then target. So, here what happens, this becomes dollar one and this becomes dollar two. In the same way, you can give more arguments. Actually, what happens after the file name, um, shell script name, uh, all, all the words with space delimiter, uh, these are all the arguments, and it, 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 these are all dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, respectively, based on delimiter, space delimiter, delimited. If there are ten words with space delimited. Then it will be from dollar one to dollar ten. So we will be writing a script, uh, if else script, which will take one argument, uh, so a numeric value, and we will check. So I'll just provide bin bash to make shell understand that this is a bash script. And if I'll give dollar one here, dollar one is the first argument, and if it is equal to one then echo you have chosen one and if uh, if you have uh, gone through a, a conditional statement you know what is elif elif is just else if if chosen two Then and uh, next is else just copy paste might be you have chosen a wrong value. So this is our script. I'll just copy this one. I've just written it not plus not but plus plus because uh, let us delete this one. Because it is not readable, that is why I have just put it in, uh, done it in Notepad++ and I will just run this one. So now what we will do, we will just make this script executable. So for that the command is u ch mod u plus x and the file name if else dot sh. So after this the file will be executable. Otherwise, now let us do. I must not pass any argument. See what happens. Okay, the then is missing. Okay, just a moment. Let us open the file once again. It's a simple. <coughs> I just put a then here. Run again. Syntax error, unexpected end of file. 
so <coughs> just forgot to close the if I let us show, show you let us let me show you here so what happens uh, when you start if you have to close the if block with if I in shell script uh, <coughs> what happens uh, in many keywords like case like if the block start if the block start with case it ends with just the reverse e s a c isac so it start with if it ends with f i so i just put the f i here and let us run the file here might be you have chosen a wrong value because i have done not put one or two so you have it has just gone to the else part and so now i put one you have chosen one two you've chosen two and any value other than one and two three six is all the same okay now let us make this script a little a better one suppose we do So what we will do, we will just uh, take a range size, say from 1 to 4 and from 5 to 9. If the range is from 1 to 4, then we will just print, uh, you have chosen the lower value and if it is from 5 to 9, we will print, we will, you have chosen the upper value and if greater than 9, it will be, the same statement will be there, might be you have chosen a wrong value. So let us. So there will be a condition, and the operator is uh, suppose C. If uh, we we want to write greater than or equal to, so we'll write hyphen G E. It is less than or equal to. We write hyphen L E. So if it is greater than, it is G hyphen G T, and less than, it is hyphen L T. So we'll write if dollar one hyphen greater than equal to greater than equal to say 1 and this is the end operator and dollar 1 again dollar 1 less than equal to 4 then we have chosen lower value Let us paste this one and make it upper <coughs> and copy this one to save time. So just change the value and make it 5 and make it 9. Chosen the upper value. Uh, there should be no space between hyphen and LE, hyphen and GE remember that often value else this one so let us copy this one and paste it here so let us try it if chosen upper value let us take one chosen lower value two lower value no argument integer expression expected obviously because i'm i've just put the relational operator and it is just searching for that and since there is no argument so again go with 11 you chosen a wrong value 8 upper value 4 lower value so this is a script uh, I'll just provide this script on my YouTube description you can just check with the script so this is a simple script uh, to understand how command line argument works uh, maybe I'll be coming with more complex command line argument programs uh, later in the later videos so that's all for this one thank you very much
to like press the like button if you like this video and you can also subscribe to my channel that is ccbhro190776 thank you very much